Honorable breaks down as court receive valid authority not to sworn him in on May 29th due to some requirements. Lawyer explains. All right, my people, we greet you now this very morning. This is the Law TV. We don't come again with our Obuke broadcast as we they give them to now every day. Um, you see, some persons will be saying, What are these people doing? What are these people saying? What is their own and what is our own? Yes, my people, um, the truth will not be, uh, be hidden. It, at least it should be said for once and let us um, be sincere to ourselves for once. You understand? You see, Tunubu has, has so much believed on himself. And that is what is currently killing him till this very date. Um, what they said, I think Peter will be told him, him from the one that he should lessen his jubilation because he is not going to give up with the struggle or with the fight. Now, in this content, the lawyer. The lawyer has come up with a very strong point of possibility that Tunubu will not be sworn in on May 29th. You'll be shocked to hear this and you'll be amazed. Don't hmm. be smooth, my people. Let's check the content. This is Morning News. In advance of the legal dispute between Peter Obi of the Labour Party, Atiku Abaka of the People's Democratic Party, and Asuwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu of the All Progressive Congress (APC) over the results of the recently concluded presidential election, Vanguard reports that renowned Anthony and political analyst Dr. Sam Amadi raised the present question of whether the INEC declared candidate must be sworn in. It is not necessary to swear to the candidate announced by INEC, according to Sam Amadi. The president-elect will no longer be president-elect if the court exercises its legal jurisdiction to hold this declaration, unless the Supreme Court holds INEC's announcement. First, the party selects the candidates, then the electorate casts their ballots, then INEC announces the winner, and finally the court accepts our, or rejects the winner, all as specified by the Constitution. Constitution is what should be considered. <laughs> um, you see, I'm amazed to, to say this. Tumbu will be shot at this truth. Yes, you will be shocked at this truth because all the while he has never seen, um, uh, uh, he has never seen a challenge like this that has really shaked in and i would really like it if at the end of the day yeah if at the end of the day um we get something very positive very positive aside from what the INEC pronounced as a result because i think a lot of people are feeling very very angry very very angry you don't know where nigeria stands as we speak right now because of the uh, false announcement and declaration that the INEC chairman has actually made. People, in most especially the international community, they have started to disbelieve and failing and, 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 and getting disappointed in the Nigerian uh, uh, system of government because of this kind of false pronouncement. 
you see that so it's not encouraging in any way in fact we are really giving the 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 INEC chairman so much authority and it is currently now affecting the whole nation unknowingly we cannot use because of one person's uh, uh one one person uh, uh selfish interest to destroy the to destroy what has already been on on building for years <laughs> okay uh, my people as they hot let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take and what's your opinion on this um, maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.